Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Book, the guy with the guns, the man with the buns. No homo shit. Let's go ahead and hop right into this episode. I'm missing the items, of course, so we can't even do that. But, uh, you know, I was supposed to record this episode last night around like 10. I don't know when the hell this is going to be posted. I was supposed to record it like the other day around 10 p.m. And if you guys don't know the neighbor situation, I don't know if I have like new apartment neighbors or what. But every time I record at night, they get really angry and just start stomping on the floor instead of like communicating like humans. And it bothers me a lot because <laughs> I can't record episodes at night because I think they're getting mad that I talk slightly loud. I can't at the level I would talk if I was recording last night. The thing is, I don't stream at night. I have the decency to not stream at night. But apparently, if I whisper like this, they can still hear me, hear me and they just stomp on the floor like 30 times. And uh, I don't know if I still have the clip. I think I just deleted everything in my recycle bin. But in the like the clip I recorded last night, it was like a one minute clip. My right you could hear like three stomps. And they're loud as hell. <laughs> the funny thing is, they put a put a thing on my door saying that can I please go fire? I'm about to put a post note on their door. Because they don't want to knock on my door and be like, hey, can we talk like this? Talk to each other like humans? I'm put a goddamn post note on their door. But like, y'all need to drop some pounds on you. Because every step you take, I can hear it. And I know that's very rude, but like, we're adults. We can talk to each other. Unless it's like, oh, maybe they're doing some secret shit upstairs. Maybe it's like a five year old people upstairs and I don't know. Ooh. I'm about to expose them. Watch. Yeah, we're fighting Ragnarok here. I don't know what the fuck I've been talking about the last few minutes we've been fighting. Ragnarok is a very easy boss, and I am very strong. And I said this during a live stream, and if I ever die to anything, it's because I suck, okay? That's the reason. If I ever die, any die to anything, it's because I suck, or the boss is extremely overpowered. Because my character hit- wait, we're not even wearing our sharp shoes. Yet. My character hits so hard. It has so much health. Like, there is no reason that I should ever die. At any point. Just letting that be known right now. And I feel we might run into a couple bosses that are really strong. Uh, I'm not saying that they're overpowered, but they're really strong. It's really hard to kill me. Like, at all. These guys are hitting me so many times that I'm not hitting me right now. Yeah, my opinion on Ragnarok is they're a little too easy to be where they're at on this list. They were like, like around here. Uh, that should not, they were around the Challenger and Lunarians. They should be up high, like right after you enter post Lord, they should be up there. I don't think these guys are that strong. It's like no offense to Thorium or anything, but whoever made the boss list, these bosses are not strong. Ragnarok is not that strong enough to be down there with the other ones. Because I fought Ragnarok a bunch of times. The only time I ever had struggles with it was when it first came out I didn't know how to fight it. When I played the bard because the bard didn't have a fully completed uh, class yet. So, I don't know, it's just my opinions on Ragnarok. Very easy boss, wrong area. Not very easy boss, but wrong area on the boss completion list. Damn, look how many reverse C tokens we got. Not like we need them, anyways. Yeah, if you guys notice my accessories, I have a lot of good accessories that I've been getting during live streams. So, if you want to watch those live streams, check out my Twitch and then click on the video section of my Twitch and you can find a bunch of these streams. Yeah, this took a long time, and this took a long time. Sharpshooter Soul, and the Auto Injector. But yeah, pop these baby open. These babies open. I keep a dormant hammer. There's no problem. No reason not to. I keep the mass. Also, no reason not to. Um, we have these epic healing potions, which heal 300. So, like I said, honestly, I shouldn't ever die. I really shouldn't. Who the hell, the blacksmith died? So obviously there's a lot of stuff we can make with Ragnarok. The armor being like the number one thing. Number one best thing. But am I gonna do it? No sir. No sir. I do not need to. We have a good armor set already. We are set. We will just hold this for any recipe that requires it in the future. But let's take on a new boss, all right? Let's take on a new boss. We have Azana from Elements Awoken. So we need a mystic plating, no problem. Okay, slight problem, slight problem. Uh, how do we craft this? 
We need more pyroplasm. All right, that's that's no problem. So all we gotta do, go to dungeon, nice and easy, and go kill some enemies in here. Yeah, if you may have noticed, the pillars are out again. Oh, there's the flame rays for us. It's in the desert. It's really interesting. Uh, I had to kill the lunatic cultist to get another uh, ancient manipulator. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I kept on calling it matter manipulator in the stream. And I think that's the starbound thing. The pickaxe tool from starbound. But yeah. I had to kill them again. And all the pillars yeah. out. I tried killing them with like a, a boss spawner thing. But the boss spawner thing that I kept using. Just they didn't drop a treasure bag or didn't drop anything. At all. Which was really weird. Um, but I guess, you know, I had to kill them regularly. Which I hate doing because I hate spawning in all the pillars. They're not that hard, it's just they get annoying. And I don't like being annoyed. Plain and simple. Who loves being annoyed? Do you think it's like a fetish out there that people like being annoyed? I feel like there is a fetish out there. There has to be. Like I could get annoyed by like your pet. That that's actually not that bad. I I would be fine getting annoyed by like my dog or cat. So if you may have noticed, I switched back to chlorified arrows because the bow I used, I didn't like aiming it. I don't really like aiming at all, post moon lord why i prefer weapons at home but uh you know to each their own you know sometimes you gotta aim sometimes you don't it makes sense that i gotta aim a lot because i am playing a ranger but i'm just lazy sometimes all right so let's make this something plating boom mystic plating type beat all right hopefully this boss doesn't clap my cheeks we'll see it is an elemental welcome boss they're pretty damn good we're about to find out how good though ready Daytime, right? Whatever. I'm assuming it's daytime. We're gonna switch these. I don't use a shredder at all. And uh, you guys should know the reason why. <laughs> this breaks the game. Okay, nighttime. Let's do it. Azana, the final boss from Elements Awoken. This is a cool looking boss from what I've seen pictures of. Uh, this is not what I remember in the pictures. I'm assuming it has other forms though. Oh my god. He's just chasing me. You haven't seen a thing yet. Yeah, I know I haven't seen a thing because I know what you're about to do. But don't pick up the hearts. Oh, my fucking <laughs> Go ahead. Part two. Come on. Look at her. I think it's a her. She looks really cool. Like, really, really cool. We're not going to get, obviously, the best look. Um, we're almost dead. Some point in time, I almost got killed multiple times now. What the fuck? This is how you can tell a boss is really strong is when they can almost kill me nearly instantly. Given the strength that I hold. Oh my god. This is terrifying. <laughs> uh, we almost got one shot at apparently. Because my ghost thing went off or my like life bringing thing went off. The shit that like revives me when I die. Uh, I don't have a strat here other than use this bow. <laughs> Seems like the only strat I can use right now. Try my best to dodge. I'm doing way better dodging than I usually do. <clears throat> when I usually dodge, you know, I just kind of... Or when I usually don't try that hard to dodge, I just kind of just walk into everything. Good example right there. I just walk into that. I am probably going to die. Oh my god. I cannot dodge this for that long. My flying was starting to wear out. To the nurse. No. Don't kill me. <laughs> Alright, fuck the nurse. We don't need her. Oh god. I don't like that. I don't like how I had to dodge that. That wasn't easy to dodge. To the nurse! She's dead! <laughs> no! My life has been made harder because of that. Okay, so every time I right click with this, uh, the sharpshooter soul equip, you guys see how it moves my screen? That shit's really annoying. <laughs> There's no way to fix that either. You just can't have a right click on a weapon that you use. Oh, I almost died again. Voice crack. I wanna lose this fight! All right, so remember what I was talking about? Like, a boss can kill me unless they're really strong. This boss is really fucking strong. I have a thousand health. Just put that into perspective. Perspective. What the fuck am I trying to say? I have a thousand health. I get hit once. I'm below half. <laughs> or I'm below, like, three quarters. Two thirds. Just put that into perspective, okay? Uh, you know what I really hate about this boss? And most bosses from Elements Awoken is how their items that are not the easiest to craft require 
to be crafted multiple times when the boss is decently hard. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Any boss that's decently hard should not have you craft. This goes for all mods, not just Elements Awoken. Any boss that's decently hard should not have you crafting their post new lord shit over and over again. Like, look, what the fuck's chaotic flare? Where do I even get that from? I don't have that. Then I gotta go get 30 more pyroplasm too. Like, come on, bro. All right, let's run this back. Did I buff up? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, wait. Do we have tank potions? We do. I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure the accessory I have gives me the tank abilities already. You know what? I'm starting to think that just, just maybe. I did like a hiccup right there. Uh, just maybe. We our guns aren't strong. Enough. But I don't know. I feel like your guns are pretty damn strong. And I also feel like this boss is a little too damn strong. But the thing is, I don't think it's the mod itself that makes this boss that strong. Uh, I think it's like a combination of calamity <laughs> calamity revengeance and this mod because yeah this boss can obviously be strong There's nothing summon from having to be weaker than calamity but like i don't know man this boss has three hit potential three hit four hit potential probably hit you for like 800 in one shot if it wanted to if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time which i was right there at the wrong place at the wrong time didn't have enough reaction time for her to teleport. Okay. Just fucking dying at this point. I can't keep up with her teleporting. Our uh, health isn't looking too good. Maybe this would have been the boss. Oh my god. To switch back to Blood Flare. Get that little life steal that we can get. I just feel like I need an accessory that life steals at this point. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> this bitch hurts. Now, I was planning to upload this video late night on the day I forgot to upload. Or not forgot to upload. On the day that I... I haven't uploaded to her in a while. Let's just say that. Oh, my God. What is this? Fucking Isaac? Oh, my God. Osu? Osu would be way harder. Bullet hell type beat Gungeon? I wanted to play Terraria. Not fucking Gungeon right now, okay? This is, this is tough, and I don't like it. I'm lazy. I'm fight bosses. <laughs> When bosses are tough, they're gonna make me actually try. You won't like it when I try. I don't talk. I'm already barely, barely talking as is. I can barely form a sentence right now. It's not because I'm stupid. <laughs> I just woke up. I'll be honest. I just woke up a, a little bit ago, and my sleep schedule is so bad. Okay, this is what's gonna kill us if we're not careful. My game froze for a second, which was awesome god oh my god how am i dodging any of that oh my god don't die to that don't die to that i need to heal quick i need to heal quick i need to heal very quick heal oh i didn't mean an anvil bro oh my god we just took a hit for no reason because of that anvil i think it might be over it might be over we're so close we're so close we really don't want to die oh Oh, 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 I don't know how I'm dodging. I'm ducking and dodging. Just kill the killer, killer, just kill it. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. That was, that came way too down to the wire. All right, shout out to Elements Awoken making me fear a boss more than I fear Autismo and Calamity buffing dog. That was a tough boss fight, but like I said, I don't know if that's intended to be that tough or if Calamity's Revengeance has any, like, say in that. Because I know Calamity's Revengeance fucks with some things here and there. But there we go, we have murdered Azana. Let's take a look at what she drops and I'm gonna end the episode. Because I'm gonna try and get this episode up the same night. Oh my god, she died again. Uh, Gleam of an... Sell it, sell it, sell it. Oh, all my NPCs are dead. Click. Jesus Christ. See, this is why I don't wear this accessory. <laughs> uh, guarding Ring of Chaos. Or Guarding Ring of Chaos. Pressing. There's gnomes. They're angry. Uh, pressing the ability key will create a shield around the player that absorbs damage. Buffing the player with more damage they take. It sounds really good. Um, I'll be honest. I wasn't paying attention about what it just did. Discordant bars. Wow. Can't make anything with them. 
anything for me at least but yeah i'm in this episode off here uh i'm gonna try and post this episode like right now when you're seeing it <laughs> that doesn't make sense what i just said whatever all right bye hey yo, what's up everyone so i do have a twitch where i live stream a bunch of content i do a lot of viewer games i stream a lot of terraria and obviously the stream series they start on twitch and then they eventually end up youtube so make sure to check that out link will be in description it will also be right here on the screen uh and i also have a twitter and a discord check the description those are usually at the bottom of the description twitter and discord is where i notify people that i'm streaming and i also give you know updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out or you know why there's no video today or something like that but yeah thank you guys for watching peace out pee pee out.